Alejandro checking in straight from the streets of Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to welcome you to the Making Digital Dough with Alejandro series. It's been almost a year to the day since I started my channel, and I told you guys if you stuck with me, I was going to take you on in this internet marketing journey world so you can start your own online business. Again, you guys have been nothing but supportive to me, nothing but uh, give me positive feedback in my comments and through my email. So I definitely wanted to give back to you guys and let you guys know how you can start your online business, start making passes of income and start traveling the world like I've been able to. So again, I'm about to finish out my workout right now and we'll see you back at the crib, but we're gonna jump on the laptop and get into this. I'm out until the next one. Alondro checking in. I've made it back to the crib. Safe and sound, I'm rehydrated. And again, this is gonna be the most important video that I've made to date. Again, this starts the Digital Adult Online series. Again, I'm not sure how long this series is going to last, but as long as you guys keep requesting the content, and if you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue uh, sharing everything that I know, everything that I've learned over the years. So let's get into it. Again, uh, if you want to give you a little background information about me, if this is your first time finding me, again, I'm, I'm Alejandro from Atlanta, Georgia, and I've been in the online marketing digital space uh, for like the last uh, three years. But uh, let's rewind back to the very beginning when I first got into this. So it's probably like 2004. Um, like I said, I want to make money online. And so the easiest way to make money online at that point in time was uh, eBay and Craigslist. Again, um, I was I had acquired so many shoes. Think about, um, I'm having a, a room full of clothing and shoes and accessories. And I'm just acquiring and acquiring and acquiring all this stuff because when I was younger, before I had a job and had money, uh, you know, there was always shoes and things of that nature that I always wanted to buy, but of course, you know, my parents, they couldn't afford to buy me any and everything, all the, you know, the latest, you know, Nikes and Jordans and, and Air Max and things of that nature. So when I got older and I finally got my job, I was started collecting. I, like I said, every paycheck that I got, I would run out to the shoe store online and buy and buy and buy. So you can just imagine from uh, 2004 to I say about 2000 and let's see, we'll say 12 or so. I purchased all the Reeboks, Nikes, Jordans, accessories that I ever had. And uh, at that time it made me happy because I was like, you know, I finally have these things. You know, I can I can go go look fresh when I go out. And, and but basically it came a point in time where my room was basically filled with clothing and shoes that I had to, uh, I had a, a regular bed and I ended up taking my old bed out and I went and got a, a bunk bed. So basically I could start stacking all my shoes uh, on top. And again, over time, the next year or so, what happened? Those things also started taking up space. So I was just like, you know what? You gotta start selling some of these shoes because unless you wanna go out and get a storage or a warehouse, there's no way you're gonna be able to keep, you know, acquiring all these things. So, you know, at that point in time, what I started doing was selling shoes, selling my accessories, you know, basically getting money. So around 2013 was when I first uh, took my first trip to the Dominican, and I kid you not, I sold three pair of shoes at about uh, $300 a piece. They were called the Nike Foam Posits. And uh, they were hot at the time. They're still, I mean, they still sell them, but they're not as hot as they were back at that time. But I, like I said, I had some exclusive uh, shoes and I sold them $300 a piece. And again, I was able to buy my ticket, uh, buy all my spending money, have my spending money, all my entertainment money. When I went down to the Dominican, I spent a night in Miami, actually, also, I've told this story before. And uh, within that night, I think, I think I probably spent like $500 in one day. And then over the course of the next seven days, I probably spent another six hundred dollars in the Dominican. So that just tells you the the price and the, the you know the cost of living in you know a city like Miami as opposed to the Dominican. Your money really goes far when you you know travel to other countries. And so at that point in time, again, once I got back to the Dominican, again I had got bit hit with such such a, a, a feeling of euphoria. It was literally crack. I've never had crack in my life, but I can imagine I know how it feels because when you go to that country, um, the feeling that envelops you, again, the feelings, the emotions, it's a high that, like I said, it, you're not gonna come down from very quickly. And so I told you my number one objective was to get back to the Dominican Republic. 
um, as soon as possible. And again, over the next uh, year from uh, 2013 to 2014, I think I booked like two trips to go there. But in the midst of that, my regular nine to five job, um, I was already working from home um, since 2004. But the crazy thing about it is that I wasn't traveling, you know, thinking now I'm working from home and, you know, um, I thought I had it made. I don't have to fight traffic and, you know, I can, you know, basically I was traveling uh, within the United States, but I hadn't really gone traveled internationally. And so I wasn't really taking full advantage. And so when I finally went to the Dominican and I came back, I was just like, how am I going to be able to make this something that's uh, full time? You know, I want to you know, move to this country and retire in this country, but I have to have money in order to uh, to do that. And again, um, working from home is something that I have uh, already been able to do. Again, I have a background in um, collections, customer service and sales. And so um, I developed, over the years, I developed these skills and it allows me to communicate and verbalize, you know, with people over the phone and customers and clients. And so, once I started getting into the online uh, market space, I was able to use these skills to transition to help me, you know, with my uh, online businesses. And so we'll say 2000 and let me see, maybe 14 or 15 or so is when I, you know, started getting into uh, other business models. Um, again, I my first, you know, delving into delving into a business, um, the first thing that I did was um, Again, sell shoes on Craigslist and eBay. And then um, I was going around, all around Atlanta, uh, meeting people, selling the shoes. And again, but the thing about that is that it takes a lot of time because you have to, you know, meet up with the people, set up the appointments, you have to burn your gas. Again, it's profitable. You know, you make $100 to $200 to $300 per sale. But of course, you know, it takes up time. Sometimes people didn't show up. Again, there's a safety factor when you're dealing with money and merchandise. You know, some people, they try to rob and steal. Unfortunately, fortunately for me, I had never ran into that, but there were people that I knew who used to sell clothing and shoes that got killed. Um, like I said, high school was in fact, that I used to um, trade and um, um, sell and buy shoes from. One guy um, in the Buford area, I don't know if you guys know, but he got killed. Um, when these guys, you know, came to his house and uh, and uh, robbed and steal, and like I said, they ended up shooting him and stealing, you know, his clothing and shoes. It was a very tragic case. But again, when you hear stories like that, then it makes meeting up with people, you know, you want to definitely uh, choose another method. But again, we do have online market spaces now because you know a lot of people don't like to meet up in person. But you know now they have like Facebook marketplaces, uh, eBay, where you don't have to uh, meet up with people. You can sell uh, internationally. And um, like I said, uh, nationally, you know, using uh, their online platform. And so basically that's what I did. I started selling my shoes online. But again, it's the same process. You have to take time to post your shoes. You have to take time to, uh, you know, set up all your um, payment process and things of that nature. Again, it's not fine. But again, you have to have that physical, that physical item. So the big moment came, the big transition came to me was when um, I started selling um, um um, Rosetta Stone CDs. If you know, Rosetta Stone is a company um, that uh, sells all the language CDs, you know, Spanish, French, Italian, anything you can think of, they sell all those languages. And so I was uh, trying to learn Spanish because I was, you know, I was traveling back and forth to the Dominican and I had uh, came across some um, um, Rosetta CDs that I had uh, purchased online. I had the full suite, actually, the full suite of all the languages up to that point that they had made. And so I was like, hmm, what if I start making copies of these CDs and I start selling them? Because again, um, I was selling them at $100, um, like I said, per CD because, I mean, you were getting the whole suite of languages. You can learn pretty much all the languages up to level three. And so that was a great deal in itself. And so when I, once I started um, reproducing and copying these CDs, I started, uh, you know, posting them on Craigslist and eBay, and those things were moving like hotcakes. So think about it: a hundred dollars a piece. I sell one to three today. Some some days I sold ten in a week. You do the math. That's hundreds, thousands of dollars, depending on how good my day was. So you know, I had always been around the uh, online space, the uh, e-commerce space, but really, when I sold the Rosetta Stone CDs, it really took it to the next level. 
because when you're selling locally, like I said, your pool is kind of small, but when you go online and your platform, you can reach so many other people. So when I got on um, uh, eBay and I started doing the um, doing the online CDs, um, um, I think cloud, okay, that's what it was, cloud services and drive services came along, and what happens is that um, I was able to upload it to the cloud. So basically, I didn't have to physically mail out a CD to anybody. So, I, so that cut into my, cut back the amount, I didn't have to go out and buy these bulk CDs and then mass duplicate with my uh, CD writer, um, you know, DVD writer on my computer. So if you could just send somebody the direct digital link to the program, then the money is literally instantaneous. And that's, just, that's exactly what I did. And so, so just imagine I have this product, this CD, that I'm selling at $100 a pop, and literally I could sell as, as, as quickly as I could post it up, people were, were jumping on it. Now, a problem came is because, uh, I, like I said, I was making good money, I was making, I was spending, I was having a good time, you know, I'm buying all the shoes and clothing, I'm going out, clubbing, strip clubs, and all of that good stuff, you know, living the life, you know, you're thinking that, you know, this is never going to end, but the problem came into play when I got hit with a cease and desist letter from uh, Simon & Schuster, uh, or CBS, which is the parent company of Simon & Schuster, who uh, owns the uh, Rosetta Stone and Pimsleur CDs. So basically, they told me that you were violating uh, you know, our intellectual property rights, you're not licensed to uh, sell our CDs, you're making a profit without us, you, you know, you can't basically do that. I hadn't come into any agreement with them, I had no... Like I said, I had no right. It was it was against the law, basically. You know, when you're young and you're making money, you don't think about it in that way. But at that time, you know, when the money's coming in, you don't think that, you know, I'm going to get stopped. So they basically put a cease and desist. They told me, you know, if you don't quit doing this, uh, if you don't destroy all the, the, the property, destroy all the, the merchandise that you've had and making these copies, we will, you know, go forward with, you know, litigation. And believe you me, it was the real, real deal. And so I shut down the, the operation, you know, immediately. But in that, uh, in that uh, moment, a lesson was learned because at that, at that point in time, I learned the power of the digital, uh, let's see, uh, marketplace, so to speak. I mean, this world is truly digital when I look at it. It's all about perspective. You know, think about all our online platforms. This platform that you're watching me on now, YouTube, it's a digital platform. All our social medias, all our online banking and transactions, everything is instantaneous. I need it now, I want it now. And again, if you don't you know, progress with the technology, you're gonna be left behind. A lot of businesses, brick and mortar, like I said, they're, they're struggling because they haven't made the transition to online selling or online uh, you know, social media branding. And you know, just getting their, getting their marketing and advertising out and they have great products but they're just not putting it out in the, you know, the, the digital space where everybody can see. So that's why I said uh, this world is digital dope, period. So if you are going to start a business online or if you already have a business, a product, a service, I implore you to get into the digital space again, which is the online space. Again, use your social medias, which are your Facebooks, your Instagrams, um, your Twitter accounts, again, to get your message and your platform. I mean, get, use these platforms in order to uh, get your message and your product and your services out. Because if you're not selling anything, then you're doing yourself a great disservice. I mean, at this day and age, it's a great day and age where you can learn anything on the internet in terms of uh, skills, in terms of uh, trainings and tutorials. It's literally easy as just putting in Google or YouTube, I want to learn this or how do I do this? Again, you're gonna see you know, hundreds of uh, search uh, hits on um, different products and different, you know, different products and different services and courses and things of that nature. But you have to kind of sift through and find out, you know, what resonates with you, what's something you can do that matches your personality, your passion, your hobby, and you just go for it. You know, again, I started this YouTube channel a year ago uh, in the Dominican, again, to focus on uh, traveling. And again, it, it grew, um, like I said, to uh, 800 subscribers where we're at now. And then, uh, again, I told you guys that I would uh, start the second phase, which was going to be uh, the Making Money Online uh, series, which is the Making, Making Digital Alejandro series, which we're doing now. 
because um, this is something that I'm also passionate about, traveling and being able to make money. I mean, there's no better feeling. I mean, the best feelings in the world, in my opinion, uh, having an orgasm, eating chocolate, and hearing the cha-ching, you know, come through on your uh, Cash App or your PayPal or your Shopify, your eBay, when you make an online sale. I mean, the bank never closed when you make online money. It's 24 seven, there's always somebody online, there's always somebody shopping. And that's the key to this whole digital game is that you have to flip the script and you have to become the creator, the producer, the seller of uh, a product, a service, a tool that basically helps people because that's essentially what business is at the end of the day, is finding people with problems and either you're providing the solution or you're giving them or you're a bridge between the solution and that's what and with that bridge we're gonna um, lead into my number one favorite business model again I've done e-commerce against buying and selling of merchandise and shoes I've done uh, drop shipping which is basically sourcing products from a different source so say for instance if I was to see something on eBay and I purchase it and then I can uh, turn around and sell it on Amazon Again, it's basically ordering it from one one person and uh, selling it on a different platform where I don't hold the, the physical product, but yet I'm getting the profits. I mean, the, the uh, margins, the price margins are a little small in terms of the, um, the commissions, but again, it's something that you can do. But again, that, that model was great, but uh, again, it wasn't the, my number one uh, model that I recommend. So. What I'm going to talk about today is uh, affiliate marketing and a lot of people might, might be like, what is affiliate marketing? Well, affiliate marketing is basically you going out and promoting other people's proven products. So this shirt that I'm wearing right now is a Reebok shirt. Again, it's free promotion for Reebok. They're not paying me. I'm not a sponsored athlete or an affiliate, but did you know as an affiliate, if Reebok has a an affiliate program, which I'm sure that they do, you can sign up for the affiliate program and anything that you sell or promote via YouTube, you can get a commission for it. And pretty much that's how the affiliate marketing game works. We're all marketers, believe it or not. It's just that we're not all getting paid for. So that's the that's pretty much the game. If you look at all the YouTubers who are big YouTubers, they all pretty much started off with affiliate marketing because it's the easiest uh, path to success. You can literally start your own affiliate marketing business today. Again, the number one online retailer is Amazon. They have the largest affiliate program. Again, I use them. If you go and look at all my videos from day one from a year ago, I have uh, Amazon affiliate links basically. So all of my drones, all of my camera equipment, um, softwares, anything that I use and own, I can post a link for that. And again, if somebody comes and watches my video and they go through and click my link and they make a purchase, I'm gonna get a commission, maybe 10 to 20% depending on the product. Again, if it's a high ticket item, you know, there are things on there that are hundreds of thousands of dollars to uh, thousands of dollars to hundreds of dollars, I get a commission of that. It's basically, it's how you can structure your channel and provide that comment. Again, a lot of the big YouTube channels are review channels and they're just reviewing tech items, computers, softwares. I think it's on Marcus Brownlee. I mean, he started from zero, day zero one time and he grew his channel to over, you know, a million subscribers and he's making millions of dollars, you know, because of now he's so big that people sponsor him, he gets paid sponsorships, but that's pretty much what it is. Again, when you use affiliate marketing, basically you're just promoting someone's service, someone's product, and again, and you're getting it out to the masses or your audience or what have you. So again, this is something that anybody and everybody can do. Again, a lot of people don't know about affiliate marketing, but it's very easy to start. Again, it's literally, easy as having a YouTube channel or any other platform, having um, a website and basically signing up for that uh, affiliate program. So once you sign up, basically you put all your information in, put your PayPal in or your checking account information in, you go out and sell and promote the products and again in uh, 30 days to 45 days they'll cut you a check based off of how many people have made your sales. Again, it's the easiest game to get in and I'm for you. So if you're um, interested in learning more about affiliate uh, marketing, again, I'm gonna go to the uh, computer now and so show a little bit more details so we can get into a little bit more training and then I can uh, delve into it a little bit more deeper and uh, show you guys what we got. So let's head on to the computer. 
All right, so let's get into this mini mindset training. Again, this is the Digital Dope Blueprint, the step-by-step -step path of setting up your own online business with affiliate marketing and branding. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, as you can see, mindset, in my opinion, is the most important key in starting an online business. The first key or the first principle is that you must not fool yourself and that you are the easiest person to fool. This is a quote that I read daily when it comes to life. We are responsible for our current state of health, wealth, and happiness. People tend to place their circumstances and misfortunes on the shoulders of others and play victim. Accountability and responsibility is 100% ours, and when we start lying to ourselves, we are then able to take full control of our destiny. We must ask ourselves, who am I now? Who do I want to be? We all start at zero. We all want better lives, but the key to achieving Success is having unwavering spirit and laser-directed focus. Focus and consistency is what separates the great from everybody else. Mindset, perception, and belief are all extremely critical because they will affect the success of our business. If you look around at all the business owners online and offline, you will see that mindset is the one thing they all have in common. I have failed many times and had doubts too about being able to make money online, but it all changed when I stopped focusing on money and started helping others solve their problems. I discovered the key to being successful was easy as just following the path and roadmap that others had already laid out in front of me. When we first learn anything new, we try to emulate what we see, hear, and learn. Some tasks require more efforts and a higher level of thinking, a higher level of thinking, excuse me. So we take classes, courses, or get mentoring to shorten, shorten the time span needed to achieve the desired result or goal. The shortest distance between A and B is a straight line. When you approach life with a straight line approach, tasks become easier because there's no wasted time and effort. Simply put, we must cut the bullshit out and take direct action. Direct actions would allow me to move to the Dominican Republic in 2018 and work online. I had finally realized my dream of becoming a digital nomad, which allowed me to, which allowed me to become location independent while generating money online. Years ago, I worked in call centers and I developed the skills of customer service and sales. Working in call centers and speaking with customers and clients every day allowed me to develop my soft skills and verbal communication skills. Being able to listen and communicate are two of the most important skills that you can develop when it comes to business. Business simply is being able to solve problems and services for people. Excuse me. Business simply business is simply being able to solve problems and provide services for people. We all have problems, so we all have to we all have problems, so all we have to do is create a solution through a tool, service, or product. Simply, we must create, sell, and promote. It's a matter of putting the right offer in front of the right audience, and you can sell anything. If you have and use social media, then you are already halfway there. You must flip the equation and become the producer instead of the consumer of content and the seller instead of the buyer of goods and services. If you start approaching social media from a business perspective, you can start your own online business within 30 days, implement strategies, and start receiving commissions within 60 days, and have a full online income within 90 days. The choice is yours. Take the red pill. Go down the rabbit hole like I did. Change your life because freedom awaits. So we all know who that is. Mr. Morpheus himself from the movie The Matrix. Again, The Matrix is not a location in the States or abroad anywhere. The Matrix is in the mind. And what I learn from myself and learn from my other mentors is just that once you change uh, your paradigm of thought then reality is whatever you make it and so when it comes to online business it's not easy like in i wouldn't be the first one to say it's not easy but it's something that can be mastered you find the right skills and put them together with the right mindset and there's nothing you can accomplish and this is this goes for this or any other task, skill, or job, you know, in the world. It's a matter of how we approach it and uh, what our mindset and what our belief is. So again, you know, I didn't want to, you know, go off on a tangent or anything like that, but the key is, is just believing. If you believe something, you can make it happen. If you don't believe it, then guess what? It's not going to happen. So, you know, this will conclude the, the mini mindset portion and we'll get on to the next uh, section of the training. So as you can see, we are on the Google homepage and I'm just gonna do a quick search, type in Amazon Associates. 
again this is how you sign up for the Amazon Associates affiliate marketing program again click on that link right there it's going to take you to the home page again this is how the layout looks again you can join now for free again of course when you join put in your email address your password and information is going to bring you to a dashboard it's going to ask you for your personal information no name address phone number what have you they're going to ask you for a web page um, if you don't have a web page you can put in your YouTube channel um, but what I can tell you is that you normally need about 300 to 400 uh, subscribers in order to get um, approved for the program but if you don't um, you could always just uh, sign up for a web page and again because they want to just make sure that you know you're able to generate traffic whether it's coming from your uh, YouTube channel or your uh, web page so definitely most uh, affiliate programs out here they require at least a website so you know if you guys don't have a website that's something that you definitely you know want to think about getting um, getting because uh, it's, it's pretty much essential at this point in time so again Amazon is one of many companies um, that have uh, affiliate uh, marketing programs again it's the biggest online retailer and uh, number one affiliate program and again all the youtubers basically use it so again and once you uh, sign up again they'll generate you know links for all their merchandise and products uh, specific to you so basically when you pay, uh, paste it on your you know your website or your YouTube when you're marketing it basically when people come they're just gonna go and you know click on your links and I think the tracking cookies like uh, 24 hours so as long as somebody clicks on your link and they uh, they uh, pay within 24 hours you'll get the commission so this is pretty much you know how it works with uh, Amazon Associates again there's one of um, many companies uh, again there's most major retailers most uh, major brands they all have affiliate programs but again if you're getting into YouTube and you're a beginner definitely the first thing you want to do is sign up for Amazon Associates we can they're the trusted leader like I said for online space and retail so definitely just wanted to let you guys know that you know this is what I did personally and this is what most everybody else does so you know you want to just follow the blueprint you know don't reinvent the wheel alright so let's jump into the next screen okay we're on my home page of my YouTube uh, channel Alejandro Broad again as you can see I sit at 800 subscribers again shout out to all of you guys man thank you very much for you know watching me liking sharing and subscribing my content but again I want to get into uh, affiliate marketing just show you a little bit how this game works so again if we look at my videos right now let's go back to my very first video that I shot a year ago in the in the Dominican Republic again why I moved from Atlanta to the Dominican Republic uh, shows a uh, 3.3 thousand views a year ago again that's a lot of views 3,000 people watching my contact and, and seeing me that's awesome and again I again I, I appreciate everybody who's reached out to me and supported so again this was my first video shot October 2nd as you see a year once a year to the day I shot it I think uh, on the 30th of September but at this point in time um, I think I released it like a day or two days afterwards so again if you go through my subscribe uh, my description again welcome and thanks for coming to my channel this channel is all about the digital nomad lifestyle topics will include uh, entertainment entrepreneurship fitness and fun come along for the journey enjoy the ride click here for more videos again connect with me online Instagram you know for people you know who want to connect to me directly and again this is where my affiliate links start again the first three things I recommended um, the digital uh, no bad Bible which is basically the four-hour work week I always tell everybody you know get this book it's essential like if you want to live abroad and start your own online business Timothy Ferris he's like the the godfather of digital nomads I mean he was doing this thing back in you know 2000s you know the I think like 2004 five six you know before we even know what the term was but uh he basically his book basically shaped my life after I read it it kinda led the spark that allowed me to uh, start going on this internet marketing you know journey but uh definitely it's a book that I, I highly recommend so again you click on that link again it's from Amazon it's gonna link you back to Amazon again this book is fourteen ninety nine and again uh, I think I had over a hundred clicks since I released this uh, my last video that uh, where I um, actually promoted this book and uh, everybody didn't buy it um, again 
And um, because it, and if you buy um, not within 24 hours, I wouldn't know. But again, I got a lot of clicks on it. So whether or not I got the commission or not, I knew a lot of people were interested in, uh, like I said, uh, digital marketing. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, the uh, digital dose series. So again, 1499, 20%, 10% commission is not, you know, a lot, but you know, it adds up, you know, the bigger your channel, the more you promote, the more money you can get. Basically, that's the, it's, it's like a numbers game. Again, other books I recommended, again, my drones, you know, my camera equipment. So let's click on, you know, the DJI Spark. And again, this should be like a 500, $550 drone. So again, commissions will get, you know, a little better, 10%, 15%, 20% on a $550 product, as you can see that adds up and so all my videos that I um, that I have I basically promoted you know affiliate links so let's go to another one of my videos and let me show you another way to promote um, like I say content so to date this is uh, my uh, most popular video to date again this was the uh, the Omni Super Bowl party in Sussur you know that I did so again 8,000 views so again every every time somebody comes they're gonna click on see my links get information so again for professional videography video production and video editing services again uh, Regal recording that's actually my business partner uh, that I met through YouTube actually so again YouTube is a great platform to network and again you can collab with other entrepreneurs other you know professionals and you know you can create and so that's what we did again after chilling at the beach and hitting the strip, Julio, my cousin, came down. Again, shout out to Mr. Flip Flopper, man, another huge YouTuber, man, down in the Dominican Republic, man, entrepreneur, business owner, doing his thing, Rain Exotica. Again, she was the uh, featured uh, Instagram model, you know, uh, in the uh, in uh, my video. So again, that that's how you network and you meet people. So, you know, again, you can go follow Mr. Flip Flop's uh, YouTube channel. Again, man, he gives great content. I mean, about the Dominican Republic. The man has been down there. He been in the boots. He been. He, I mean, he been on the ground. He been in the trenches. So he knows what he's talking about. Ren Exotica. That's our Instagram. If you want to check it out, you can see it. But again, Regal Recording. Again, this is Big Cam, OG Regal Slim. Again, he also has a YouTube channel. And again, uh, this is my big bro. But as you see, this is his uh, web page. So basically, you know, I promote him. I support him. Again, he supports me. And so this is the, uh, oh, let me put the volume down a little bit. Yeah, that's Martin right there, big OG Regal Slim. Oh, and I know you guys recognize uh, this guy right here. If you know, if you know, if you like mangoes, but another, uh, well, let me see if I can find it. The Cuban uh, Cigar Smoker, another great YouTube channel, man. Another traveler, another guy that's in online media and uh, radio. Again, go follow his channel also. But, man, he's another good dude. Like you see, you know, Martin knows him. And like I said, I didn't know until I, you know, I came and looked at this documentary. But basically, it's basically how it works, man. You're going to meet a lot of people when you get into the online space. Your networking can reach so far. And, again, you can... Reach out, collab with people, you know, form partnerships, business and business, uh, you know, ships. And that's pretty much what I did. But again, you have to use your platform to promote. So, again, traffic comes to, you know, the page. And then people, if they're interested in getting videography or, you know, editing services, they'll come to Regal Recording. Again, shout out to my big brother, you know, Cam. He's a pro's pro. And again, my channel wouldn't have been able to grow without him. So definitely, man, salute to you, man. And I know bigger and better is coming, you know, for the future. So again, pretty much, you know, this is how the game works. I mean, you have to have a platform, YouTube. You have to use it, you know, leverage it, use it to your, you know, the best of your ability. And again, you could put links all throughout here. <laughs> oh, look to the right of my uh, recommended. We got Bo Rakes checking in, man. Another guy who understands business, marketing, and entrepreneurship is Bo Rakes. And so I'm gonna click on it. I, I didn't plan on clicking on it, but it was recommended. But you know, this is a video he did. Again, major shout out to Mr. Rakes. Again, as you can see, his Sosua shirt. And you know, he's promoting. 
six thousand subscribers, man. Like I said, the people they like them, they love them. And as as you can see, if you want his merchandise, Borex.com. I actually purchased one of his uh his uh tank tops because I'm a supporter. He supports me, I supported him, so and, and that's just pretty much how it goes. So as you see, you want your shirt, you go to Bull Rakes, and there you go. And again, this is a uh uh, a Shopify store. Um, I'm pretty sure of it. And again, I'm not sure if he if he's using uh, print on demand. But a lot of these Shopify's they use print on demand. You basically get the designs made up. They'll print the uh, the graphics on the shirt, and you don't even have to keep the the uh, the physical inventory. People order it, you ship it out, or they ship it out, and you get paid. So, I man, another like I said, man, good homie, man, also from Atlanta. So man, if you you know you don't know Bro Ricks, I'm pretty sure you guys know Bro Ricks, but definitely go check him out. But this is how this online game, like I said, works. He also has a Patreon, so again, it, it's like a membership site. He makes exclusive content for you know that's not on YouTube on his Patreon, and anybody can set it up. And pretty much this is all you know. You guys have to do is just follow the path that we have set out. And because we learn from other people, if there was blueprints that we followed from other people, and that's basically how we learn. So guess what? I learned from different people. I uh, invested in myself. I took you know courses, put thousands and thousands of dollars. Another guy, Mr. Ed Kane, Mr. International, another Dominican, like I said, uh, uh, vlogger. And again, 6.93 subscribers. Man, that is the people want you when you when you get this type of love and this type of uh support man it's very humbling even with my 800 subscribers is very humbling so wow six, six almost seven thousand subscribers man it, it tells you that and i know his channel his channel blew up quick he had a couple viral videos and again because this man like say again another businessman he understands like the power of youtube and the power of the platform so again salute ed kane when i touch down again in the dr man we definitely gonna chop it up man because Again, you supporting me on my channel, man. So I do appreciate, you know, all the love and support that, I, that I've uh, gotten. But, guys, this is basically how this game works. You have to use your platform and in order to uh, leverage, I mean, leverage your platform in order to, uh, you know, pr promote a product or service or anything like that. So, again, Amazon, get your YouTube up, start making content that... Uh, that you're passionate about and your hobbies and things of that nature whether it's traveling it's health it's fitness you're a comedian you're an entertainer or whatever you have you i need to be watching you they need to be watching you you promote yourself you put your links you start your own online coaching business your online consulting business and you can start making this digital dope and so again um uh, to close this out again, I appreciate you, you know, watching this video. I know it ran a little long, but I, it, it's very important and imperative that I try to, you know, get this ingrained in you guys' head, man. This is the future. The future is now, and this is a digital world. Again, don't get left behind. But the way to leverage your talent and skills is to bring it online, definitely. So, again, if you guys want to learn more and get some uh, more exclusive uh, in-depth training and again learn exactly how I learned, learn who I learned from again I learned from some marketing killers so go to AlejandroAbroad.com put in your best email and again get the free training and again come down the rabbit hole with me again until the next video Alejandro I'm out like share and subscribe and everybody be safe